They're not registered. They don't have serial numbers. And they're sold without any background check process whatsoever. New Jersey's Attorney General announced investigators confiscated six so-called ghost guns and the parts to build a couple more. They're AR-15s like this one, the weapon of choice for the New Zealand mosque and Pittsburgh synagogue shooters, but these were sold online as do-it-yourself kits like these, untraceable assault-style weapons allegedly built and trafficked by four Camden County men caught in a year-long guns and drug sting called Operation Stonewall. This case is particularly alarming because it shows that the threat of ghost guns to public safety and to law enforcement safety is not abstract, it's real. It highlights the black market that exists among criminals for these untraceable guns. Authorities say the men ordered AR-15 rifle kits shipped to an address in Ben Salem, Pennsylvania, a Philadelphia suburb, where they picked them up and then drove them back to Lindenwald in Jersey for assembly. The men apparently knew about New Jersey's 2018 law signed by Governor Murphy banning ghost guns. Investigators intercepted this conversation between two suspects. We just got to go out of state now, you know what I'm saying? And then we got to go across the border to go get it. This is the first time any defendant has been charged in a ghost gun trafficking case under the new criminal statute. Last year, the attorney general sent online gun makers cease and desist letters ordering them not to market ghost gun do-it-yourself kits in New Jersey. He said today the ghost guns confiscated in the sting sold for up to $1,300 each, twice the price of AR-15s on the legal market, and like these, they arrived 80% assembled. Buyers finished the guns using parts sold by the same companies that make the kits. Gun club advocates say there's a place for do-it-yourself gun kits. We commend the attorney general's office for targeting nefarious activities. However, we don't believe that a father teaching his daughter how to make an AR-15 at home for personal use should be a crime. You know, these firearms are being sold to millions of people across America, and they're being used for lawful reasons. Uh, with no criminal intent. When you see repeatedly the same address and the same individuals at the same location continuing to order parts and parts and parts and parts uh, for the same types of guns, some red flags have to go up. That what's going on here is not somebody who's an enthusiast or a hobbyist, but rather someone who's engaged in, in illegal trafficking. And, and uh, that is part of the problem with ghost gun manufacturers, that they are playing fast and loose with our rules. The attorney general would not identify the ghost guns parts manufacturer in this case. He said it's part of an ongoing investigation to identify what he calls bad faith dealers. In Camden, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.